Hey guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of Vlogist. I've got a fun video for you today. Today I'm going to be testing some kitchen gadgets to see what I think about them. These are all things that I have mostly ordered from Amazon, a few things I got in the store. I'll have everything linked down below, but I'm going to be testing these for you and then I'll also tell you whether or not I think they are worth it to purchase. So let's get started. So the first product I have to share with you is this rubber utensil rest. I guess it's probably silicone by Zule. The idea behind this spoon rest or utensil rest, I guess, is that you can hold multiple utensils on it at once, which I honestly think is pretty innovative. It also has a lip around it, so it will catch any drips from getting on your counter. As you can see, it's a little bit difficult to get some wooden spoons in there if they're thicker, but this is only around $10 on Amazon. So if you cook a lot and use a lot of different utensils. I think it's definitely worth the price and I would definitely recommend it even with those caveats. All right, so next up we have the Snap and Strain. And I have seen these for a long time and I always just thought, you know, that's not gonna work. How is that gonna work? I don't know, I was very skeptical. But I did go ahead and purchase this because I definitely wanted to try it. I'm always cooking pasta or cooking things that need to be drained. So all you have to do is use the clips to clip it onto the side of your pot. It does work with a variety of different pot sizes. I've used it both on large and small pots and then all you have to do is just dump it over the sink you do have to be a little bit careful making sure that the pasta or whatever you're draining doesn't fall out the top I will say that I think it is best suited for smaller to medium batches of food I don't know that I would be able to drain you know like a five pound bag of cut up potatoes or something like that with this but for pasta I think it works awesome I would definitely recommend it right now it's only $13 so I think that is an awesome price especially if you're always cooking things and boiling them I think this will save you a ton of time and mess in the kitchen and it's dishwasher safe all right, so next we are trying out the Meatball Master. So I ordered this particular one on Amazon, but I have seen them at stores before. I believe that Aldi had them as a special buy one time. But basically the premise of this is that it's a silicone tray with a lid and you make your ground meat mixture, regardless if you're making chicken or pork or turkey meatballs, and then you press the lid over the top of it and it will form the meatballs for you is sort of the idea. So right here, I'm just mixing up some Asian style meatballs. I have some egg in there, some almond flour, coconut aminos, ground ginger, and some other spices. And I'm just going to give that a mix until it is well combined. So the instructions say to pack the meat mixture in there up to the top of the bottom tray. And then you basically just put the lid over it and the lines, I guess you could call it in the lid, are what kind of cuts the meatballs into these shapes. Now they don't come out perfectly round. I think that honestly this would be a great way to shape meatballs if you are doing quite a few. As you know if you've ever made meatballs before, if you're doing a lot it can be kind of time consuming to stand there and roll all of them. But basically once you get the meat mixture in there then you kind of just press down on the top and this is where it was sort of squishing all over the place and I was like I don't know if this is gonna <laughs> necessarily work or not but when I pulled the lid up um, it did work I guess if I had to give this any stars out of 10 stars I would probably give it like a 7 or an 8 I think that it works okay I think that it could be a good way like I said to either make a large quantity of meatballs or you can also make them and freeze them right in the tray or refrigerate them right in the tray so it's great for meal prep too personally for my use I don't think that I would recommend this however I I hardly ever have the reason to make a large batch of meatballs. This is around $16 on Amazon, so it's not a huge investment. The other barrier that I can see with this is that if you don't have a dishwasher, I think this would be a total pain to clean. So overall, I don't think I would recommend this product. All right, so this next gadget I think is definitely a winner. This is a stainless steel pot lid and spoon rest. So as you can see here, it has a spot for both your spoons and it also has a spot to set your lid as well. This was an item that, again, I was a little bit skeptical about, but as you can see,
see I'm putting the lid on it here and the the thing that's great about it is that all of the moisture and the water from that lid will drip down onto the rest so that you don't get it all over your counter and then you can also hold your utensil as well this is only eight dollars on Amazon which I think is a fantastic deal I have also been putting this in the dishwasher and it has been coming out just fine I haven't had any issues with it in fact I keep it out on my counter all the time now as my primary spoon rest and I've been using it for several weeks so I would definitely recommend it the one con I would say is that it does take up quite a bit more counter space than a regular spoon rest but overall I think it's worth it all right so next up is this product called the rapid slicer and this advertises that you can cut breads or bagels in half with it you can do cherry tomatoes grapes any other small round object and you can also cut like chicken breasts or fillet them in half as well so basically it comes with this little kind of tray with a lip around it on the bottom and you put your food into there and sort of fill it up the best that you can so that all of the items are flat and then you put the lid on and slice through it with a sharp knife. Maybe it was just me, but I sort of felt kind of awkward using this. And maybe it's just because I've never used it before and I need a little bit more practice with it. But as you can see, when you lift the lid off, it does do a good job of kind of slicing all of the grapes in half. And I think it would be helpful for like doing cherry tomatoes as well. Personally, I'm not sure this is something that I would recommend for my uses. Does it work? Yes, but it's also kind of a unitasker, which I guess a lot of these items are but for $13 I think that I would rather just take my grapes and cut them in half myself now if you have little kids and you're constantly cutting grapes in half then maybe that would be something that you could consider or if you had to you know slice a lot of olives or cherry tomatoes or something like that I think it could be beneficial but I also wanted to try it with a slice of bread so I had this ciabatta bread and I'm using a serrated knife and then I just put the bread in between the two pieces. As you can see, it kind of smushed it a little bit. It did do a really good job cutting it evenly. So I would say, you know, if you are not too sure about your knife skills and maybe you're just starting out in the kitchen, this may be a good product for you, but I probably personally would not purchase it for myself again. All right, so next up is this herb saver. Now, this was an interesting contraption because it claims to triple the life of your herbs. And you guys know that I'm constantly buying cilantro and parsley, sometimes basil, although I usually have that out on my deck. But basically, it's kind of like a little vase or a greenhouse for your herbs. So I'm gonna try this with some parsley. I will be trying it with basil at some point, which I'll have to let you guys know how that works out probably in a weekend prep video. But the first problem with this little gadget is that it is very hard to get a bunch of parsley in there. And this was just a regular bunch of parsley that I had purchased from the grocery store. It's pretty similar to bunches of cilantro that I purchased. And so as you can see, I am struggling mightily with getting this thing back together. And I took it out of the fridge multiple times while I was using it. And I always had the same trouble getting it put back together. So, I mean, if you have problems with dexterity in your hands, do not buy this device even if you don't I honestly don't think I can recommend this it is $18 on Amazon which I think is kind of steep for a device like this but anyway, after I got all of my parsley stuffed in there, I felt like I was packing a suitcase. Like I had to like stuff everything in and then hurry up and zip it before it just like exploded. But then basically there's a little hole in the back that you pour water in. I poured too much in at first and there's a little stopper. And the idea is that you would change that water every couple days as your parsley sits in the fridge. So after I spent, you know, 10 minutes trying to pack all that in there and get it watered, this is what it looks like. And then I just popped it in to the fridge I kept it in the door of the fridge and honestly I'm gonna tell you guys it did keep my parsley fresh for quite a long time I want to say it was fresh for almost two weeks do I think that you could probably do the same thing with a mason jar filled with water and a plastic bag over it yes but I definitely cannot recommend this herb saver 
All right, so next up we've got the Kiwi Slicer and I have seen these before and just never purchased one. So I was excited to be able to try this out for you guys. I did pick up this one at Aldi, but I will link a similar one on Amazon down below. But basically the premise of this is that you take your Kiwi and you cut it in half and then you use the wires to kind of push down into the center of the Kiwi and then you twist it and it comes out with these little Wedges. Now I have to say this worked pretty darn good. I would definitely recommend this little tool especially if you eat kiwis a lot it's only four dollars on amazon and it is much much quicker than peeling kiwis now i know a lot of people say that they just eat the skin on the kiwi i haven't been able to bring myself to <laughs> to do that yet but as you can see it does work pretty well now i will say in terms of how ripe the fruit is you sort of have to have like the perfectly ripe kiwi like i think if it was not ripe enough that the device would have a hard time cutting through it and i think that if the kiwi was too ripe that it would just kind of mush all over the place so that is one thing about it but as you can see it works pretty well to section and peel those kiwis overall I would recommend this I think that it does a really great job especially if you are making a fruit salad or even if you're just cutting up fruit for your kids it's definitely something that I think is a minimal investment in terms of cost but does a great job Okay, so the next item is a storage item and this is a lid organizer. So I also picked this up on Amazon. You guys know that my Tupperware shelf is a hot mess as always. And so I was thinking that this could kind of help me organize it. So it does come unassembled and you have to assemble it yourself, which is fine. Kind of have to curve the plastic shelves here and pop them in. I kind of found it a little bit difficult. I mean, I got the hang of it, but I I do like that you can kind of adjust the widths so that if you are wanting to store a large number of lids, you can kind of, you know, break out the shelves as you see fit. I definitely like that it's white in color. I think that it contrasts nicely if you have like colored lids, but I just went ahead and put this together and then I put in a bunch of lids that I had in my cabinet. These just happen to be some rubber lids from a lot of my Pyrex containers, which previously had just been all like stacked up in my cabinet and then every time I took something out they all fall out on your head you guys know how that works so I thought this would be a great solution and I kind of just organized them by size and shape so I tried to put all of the like sizes together and then I found a few more miscellaneous lids in my cabinet that I tucked in there as well all right, so as you can see, that worked out great in my cabinet. It definitely organizes my lids and it's going to keep them all corralled. I definitely do recommend this. I would say the one drawback with this is that it is kind of expensive in my opinion. It's around $23, but if you can swing the cost, I definitely think that it's worth it. This next item was one that I was pretty interested in. This is called the Simple Spreader and it advertises that you're able to basically take a block of butter right from the refrigerator and spread it on your bread, which I'm like, really? Is this really gonna work? I'm always a person that forgets to take out my butter, so this was very interesting to me. But anyway, as you can see, it does work in terms of kind of taking the butter off of the stick and and making it into little ribbons. So I first tried it on a piece of soft bread and this was butter that I had just pulled out of the refrigerator and honestly, I was very impressed with this. As you can see, it's spreading pretty well on the bread and not tearing it, which is rather awesome. Next, I wanted to try it on some toast because I always feel like that's the thing that I'm making on the weekend and I don't have any butter softened. So as you can see, I was able to get some of the butter off the stick and then easily spread it onto the bread. Overall, I would definitely recommend this product. I think that it was one of the products that impressed me the most. I'm always skeptical of gadgets like this not working, but this one actually did work really well. This one is $11 on Amazon, which I feel like is maybe a little bit pricey but it's definitely something that you would probably use frequently and have for a very long time so overall I would recommend it I do think it's worth it okay so next up are these glasses now I saw these actually on Instagram on an influencer post that Amazon was advertising and I believe they were advertised as coffee or cold brew glasses but when Adam saw them he thought that they were beer glasses so I guess you can use them for whatever but they come four to 
into a package and as you can see they were pretty well packed none of them were broken i wanted to try these out with some cold brew so i just added ice in there and i'm pouring some cold brew coffee over that and then i foamed up in my nespresso with my cold frother some of my favorite nut pods creamer i believe this was the hazelnut and i just poured that on top and as you can see it is really pretty i like having my cold brew like this in a glass sort of glass is that what i'm talking about like a see-through glass so that you can kind of see the cream or the nut pods cream rather kind of drifting down through there overall i think these are great glasses i do think that the price point is kind of high right now they're around 28 dollars for four of them so i think if you're looking for a nice new set of glasses i would recommend them but otherwise i use mason jars a lot for drinking glasses and i think those are definitely a lot more cost effective all right, so next is just kind of a fun thing to go with these glasses I bought, and this isn't really a kitchen gadget, but I thought a lot of you would get a kick out of it, so I'm sharing it anyway. I also think this would be a great gift for a guy, either for Father's Day or for a birthday or for a stocking stuffer, but these are Nintendo coasters, and as you can see, there are a variety of games here. They have like the Super Mario games, Zelda, and Duck Hunt, so I did try these out with my cold brew glasses, and they worked really well i also feel that these are a little bit pricey they're 22 dollars for the package but like i said if you're looking for a fun gift i would definitely recommend them all right so next up i've got an interesting product that i have honestly never seen or used before these are little devices to cover up your wine or liquor bottles i guess you could really use this on any bottle that you're going to put back in the refrigerator but as you can see here i'm opening up a bottle of wine just to kind of illustrate this so i'm going to pour a glass out and then i'm going to use one of these wine condoms to put on the top of the bottle of of wine so I can put it back in the fridge so as you can see it comes in a box and by golly they do look like the real thing don't they <laughs> except they're a lot smaller. I don't know why this cracks me up so much. I hope you guys are laughing too. I uh, had quite a time getting this open, but finally figured out how to do it. And as you can see, yeah, that's what they look like. They, I mean, they kind of look like balloons a little bit too, but basically you just put it over the top of the bottle and it advertises that they do not leak, even if the bottle is tipped over. So I thought I would try it. And yes, I would say they work really well. And it was secure, none of the wine Wine leaked out I shook this bottle up I laid it on its side I turned it over one thing I also wanted to say is like I think these would be really good too for like champagne like if you want to keep bubbles in something because sometimes you know you can try to like recork those and the cork will pop off so the wine condoms retail for $15 for a box I would recommend them especially if you're someone who frequently puts you know bottles of wine back in the refrigerator and I think they would be a fun gift as well Okay, so the last product that I tested was this jalapeno core. I picked this up at Aldi, but you can grab these on Amazon for around $7. So I feel like this is definitely a unitasker, like Alton Brown would say. I tried to think of something else that I could use this for, and I'm not sure that it would work for anything other than coring chili peppers. But basically the instructions say to chop off the top of the jalapeno, and then you kind of put the device in there and turn it around to cut out the core and the seeds and honestly I feel like this worked really great it worked a lot better than I thought it was going to which was a nice surprise so I'll definitely be keeping this tool in my drawer and I think that it's worth it especially if you're a person that makes jalapeno poppers a lot or coarse jalapenos I was able to take that out pretty easily and then usually what I would do with this is probably cut it in half you guys know I make those jalapeno poppers with the cream cheese in them and wrapped with bacon so it would be a great great way to do that as well. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope that you had fun and enjoyed going over these kitchen gadgets with me. Like I said, they will all be linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you tomorrow for another one. Bye.